Hi Gemini, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel if you're new and if you are already a cyber babe or a cyber angel. That's my true and faithful followers. I'm grateful for you being back. Thank you. And if you're new, please subscribe. I would appreciate it very much and be grateful. And it will be, this channel will be saved in your library, so you can find the channel back at your convenience. And if you hit the bell as well, then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. Now I'm going to use a crystal ball. I've got a new crystal ball, my smoky quartz. Look at this, Gemini. Look at all the sparkles. It just looks like glitter. Perhaps you can see something in the crystal ball. Looks like somebody's pointing. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to clean the crystal ball because I've just used it for tourists and get the energy going and cleaning. So there we go. Okay. I know you are watching from the top because the camera is pointing down, but I can also see it from the sides. Now, Gemini. Um, Something is coming to an end. Um, no, not, not an end, but something is coming to fruition. And I think you are going to harvest something. This could be that you've been seeking uh, a friendship or a partnership. Uh, it could be with a Gemini as well. It could be with a Gemini. Sort looks for sort. Um, Perhaps you might feel that you were cut off from somebody because uh, I feel a sharp edge here. I see a sharp edge. Um, something is, you've got victory. Something is coming to fruition. Um, you look at all the glitter here. It just looks like gold glitter. And it's all, I, I don't know whether it's, it's stone or iron or in literally in the, in the ball, but it's blinging. You're shining like a light. So I think you've caught the eye of the same sort of person, and I think it's an air sign. So this could be a, a Libra, a, um, a Gemini, uh, or an Aquarium. Some, there's a, something... It's, it's not coming to an end. It just feels as if it's a partnership and a new phase is beginning, like this sharp edge. Um, you're both sharp in, at mind. You're both sharp. You can understand each other. Um, but sometimes it does go uh, boom really hard. Um, but you do come back together again. So be careful of your intonation. Um, I do see... A half a heart in here. It's like this, um, the heart, the, the V starts right here and then it sh um, there's a spike coming out through the wall. So you do carry on, you push forward. Try to, try to um, be clear, watch out your intonation, do uh, connect with your partner or this special friend. I, it's like it's, if it's the best friend, you're, you're stuck together. Um, you go through hell with each other, but you also go through the good times. You might be traveling with this friend um, to parts of the world that you haven't been yet. Um, it could be Australia or it could be uh, Russia. It is extremities. Everything is extreme. Um, 
it's not very clear yet there is um, still a misty band uh, I see a misty band grey here um, so trying to get clarity on the other hand it is clear because here again I see this half a heart so I think you're going to go with somebody else that you are longing to get together with there will be a, a compromise that's also what I'm getting try to compromise with this friend if it's a he or a she doesn't matter um, see when they've got time to plan a holiday I think it is also going to be a dis discovery holiday um, because if it is with another sign air sign it is putting the heads together that is could also be the thing it might not be a relationship just friendship but you're putting your heads together as to get clarity when you're going to go you will have victory it's definitely travel is on the um, agenda now with one of the other crystal readings um, I did get a word and I'd never endorsed or do uh, well something like that and I'd never thought of that word before and I didn't even know what it meant so I had to look it up <laughs> but it, it meant receiving a gift I'm also seeing a butterfly so you might be also trans muting transmutation that's transmuting well transmuting is already traveling as well uh, transmutation that's the word that I've got and then transmuting um, you're, you've got transforming you're, you're, you're becoming what you want to be you want to you you are also very eager to learn you're very eager to learn so that you have less spikes in your your daily life you want more equality equilibrium balance like I said you might be going to Russia and I think it will be in I'm not saying time but I see the Sun so it could be spring and it could be summer and here at the bottom I'm seeing like I said Africa I'm seeing a, 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 um, a native African with uh, a hairdo that's pointy with uh, beads also something hanging around their neck that's what I'm seeing a strange culture you would like to know more about this culture the path is going like this um, yeah so make sure that you've got the road map with you don't rely on digital maps if your um, battery falls out then at least you've got the map with you that is a warning okay Gemini I'm going to leave it there for you and I hope that resonates with you if it doesn't have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and now we're going on to the cards hi Gemini uh, well I've got the cards laid out uh, they were still there from yesterday um, as uh, something went wrong with the speakers and it was 12 o'clock and I couldn't anymore I was too tired so um, the redoing your cards I didn't change them they are the ones that came out yesterday and for Monday you have the Queen of Wands and today it's International Women's Day and this deck does um, uh, proclaim, advertise, uh, recognize the feminine side in everybody and the woman and that you can see that because we've got the King of Swords here and you cannot see the men in this deck so this deck is dedicated to the woman and the femininity and what does woman mean that means love passion nurturing caring sensuality and sexuality 
You've got the Queen of Wands, and you might be meeting a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. If you're not meeting somebody that has that element in their chart, or are not a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo, then you might be fiery. You might be really active. As wands stand for action, and that could also be work, doing something. So you might be highly active um, this coming week, and also creative. You might be extra creative, as they also stand for creation, creativeness, and that's hobby. And also they're very logical, and they know exactly, boom, what they want. They're very direct people, and they know what they want, and they go for it. They're also in... They are just a little bit like you, Gemini, because we always want to gather knowledge. So does the fire signs. So that they can uh, put their eyes, dots on the eyes and cross their T's exactly, because they are exact. They know what they want and they go for it. They go in action. Now, you have the broom. Usually this is the, uh, the brush or broom and whip. And even the cat's got a broom, and I love these cards. They're by <clears throat> Monica Bodrinsky, and she's got a humor. She has, and these are the Lenormand witch cards, or Lenormand, yeah. And you've got number 11, so you've got a doorway um, as well. You're a new beginning. You could be uh, starting something. A, a new job, like I said, the ones stand for a job, so this could be your manager or your guide uh, or your boss, and they're giving you an opportunity, the angels, for a new beginning. So it could be a new doorway to a new job that is very active and uh, that you can use your activity and your creativity. But because you've got the brooms, be careful, you might have a disagreement with a fire sign. Now, midweek we have the death, and in each, uh, usually in each card, you will see the moon. Um, and you can just about see the moon in the queen, by the Queen of Wands, but we have the death card, that means transformation. Transformation. You're not the caterpillar anymore. You are the butterfly because you're going into a new beginning and you're leaving the old behind. You might have had a hermit moment. The hermit, uh, he uh, does retreats. He takes time out to gather knowledge and to think about what he wants. It's also a spiritual time. So perhaps you have grown spiritually um, anyway, you, that's why the Queen of Wands has most probably come out. You know what you want to do. You want to leave the old behind and things that are of no use to you. It's no use dragging a dead horse with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now you are in a transformational period and you're going into a new phase. Look at this, Gemini. You've got the ship. And I think it's gorgeous the way it's depicted. It's, yeah, it's not very clear. Is it an octopus or is it a water spider? <laughs> anyway, your boats are coming in. You might be also going on holiday. That's what the ship means. You could be moving home or and you could be crossing water. But abundance is coming to you in this new beginning. Like I said, it might be a job, it might be a hobby turning into a job, okay? And that is your new beginning, which is going to bring in money and recognition, perhaps friends as well. On Friday, you have the tower, and the tower, we all know what the tower is. A lot of us are really, really scared of the tower. But here you see a lady, um, and she's chained up. If, if you can see through the artwork, because it's beautiful. The thunder is coming and the lightning is there unexpected. 
like it always is. And I think the lightning is, yeah, breaking the chains. But she feels tied up, so she is being broken free by the lightning. Unexpected change. Something was not built on proper foundation. That's why it didn't last. Perhaps something in the past um, was not built on proper foundation. You didn't have the right information to make it last. So that's why you had to move on. And that's why you've decided to start afresh. You might have had um, gatherings, meetings, uh, presentations. Perhaps you've got more information. Like I said, action. You might have got into action to get the right information on how to go about it. Turning, the, for example, this hobby into a career so that you can make money. And you want to make certain that it's not a, a, a fly in the, or a ship in the night just passing through. You want something solid. So you wanted more information and I think you are going to build a bet, uh, uh, you're going to build something much better because of this abundance coming in. And it won't be, like I said, a ship through the night. Uh, you have had discussions on how to do it. Now the bird me birds mean um, you will be getting news. Somebody might have flown the uh, the coop or left the group, and you might have you might be the one that's flying the coop or the group. Like you can see this man here in a little bird cage. He felt imprisoned, and perhaps you felt imprisoned, and you have left unexpectedly, and you starting something new, because the tower also is. Uh, a new beginning because it's happening boom all of a sudden and we do have the argument uh, card here so perhaps you've had a disagreement with your boss with this fire sign or with a fire sign at work and uh, you've left that's it and you're fed up with the gossip because the birds also mean gossip and you don't want to be in that little tiny minded crowd, okay? You can see the three birds and um, yeah, you want to stay away from tiny minded people. You want to be creative. You want to go boom out there like lightning. You are taking this as an adventure. You're not scared of the tower. You're going to build your own proper foundations that is clear to you okay sorry i forgot to turn down this deck um you've got the king of swords and you want clarity you want honesty you want um uh, clarity wisdom that's what you want to learn you are like i said in the beginning uh the fire signs and the air signs are always um eager to learn but that's the sword stands for wisdom so that you can talk and you know what you're talking about you could do the walk and now you want to do the talk or you do the talk and you want to do the right walk okay so you've got your uh, you're you're clear about what you want and you've you're you've got the knowledge you've taken your time to get the information and to deliver your abundance you're not listening to tiny minded people because you feel imprisoned and like an air sign you want to spread your wings and go out there boom like a flash of lightning um the swords also stand for uh communication like i said wisdom justice so you will make sure that you are prop, uh, building, a, have a proper foundation to start your own business or to start this new job. Although it's Mercury retrograde and that always works against us, Gemini, because we are very sensitive to Mercury because it's a, a ruling element in our chart. Or planet, I should say. Okay, we have learned from the past. Now, we've got the bear. The bear means... Um, here the bear is in hibernation okay 
that's what the picture says but here you are coming out you are coming out you're no longer in hibernation you've got clarity perhaps you've seeked help from a king of swords perhaps you've um this could be a teacher this could be a, uh, a social worker this could be a doctor this could be um anybody an advisor a judge um, or a bookkeeper on how to start that business to cross your t's and dot your i's you're no longer in hibernation you will protect legally if necessary you will protect what you love and your interest and what is dear to you you can stand your ground you know how to stand your ground you've been there done that and you're carrying on again we've got the king of fire so you might be coupling up gemini you might be coupling up with the queen of fire or the queen if that is you you are taking action to couple up with the king of fire or the king of swords you have taken a page out of their book the king of fire does think logically so he will take a little bit more time before he takes action but he is swift once he has planned he plans he's logical he's very strategic okay so that he can take the right action and he'll be creative so that is a sagittarius aries or a leo and the king of swords he he's very intelligent he's um he he takes very fast action and sometimes doesn't stop to think on how to do things he's not so strategic and logical as the king of fire but because the card is here now perhaps you are taking heat heat um or an example of the king of fire you know the law you know that you um you know you have connections to deal with issues you can stand your ground so you've been in hibernation you've taken time out so you have also got a side of logic to you before you go boom into something you don't want that tower anymore to happen when you're building something new now the bottom of the deck from the Lenaman, we've got the stalk so there is a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue here again it could be a doctor because the stalk stands for birth um, so it could be a doctor a man with in this case it is a little devil he's got little horns and he's got a doctor's case ready for the birth but it could also be the birth of a job or um, uh, your own business so it could be an advocate or a bookkeeper carrying his legal papers with him so that could be a new job it could be in, um, a, a new child that is born or you're finding out that you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions um, it, if you are too mature to have a baby then you might become a grandmother or a grandfather Luck. look at this is under the the, the store stalk um, but you might also be moving home and number 17 yep well you've got number 15 so that is six you're balanced number 17 is an eight you're in your power and it's also the house of power and money abundance is coming in awesome gemini well, I hope you have enjoyed this reading and your crystal uh, reading. Um, and please share and like this beautiful um, reading. They are great. I think they're nice. Let me know what you think of the crystal reading. And let me know what you think about the House of Shadows, Lenamum or Oracle Deck. There's also a review out. Uh, I did that yesterday. So if you want to see all the cards, then go out there and watch that review. And if you are um, a fan of the Adams family, 
go and have a look because they're really humorous, they're really lovely. And I would love to thank Monica Brodinski to, for sending me a deck to review. And I really feel honored that I'm allowed to do the review on this deck. Before I go and before I forget, I do have two, sorry, I do have two last cards. I'm nattering and too, too much. I'm just like a typical Gemini. We've got the Metatron cards and um, the Angel Feather card. Oh, we've got the Rose, Love, and we've got the Six, and we've got the Six here. So, Relationships and Harmony. So, you actually might, sorry, you actually might be meeting an other air sign or a fire sign. The other air sign could be a Gemini, um, a Libra or an Aquarian. And you've got the heart. And in the heart, you can see all the colours of the chakra. So open your heart, open your solar plex and open that mind. Be open. Don't expect um, the person that you might fall in love with or have a passion with um, to be what you think it should be. It could be somebody totally different. Like I said, um, a 360 degrees turnaround. So how do you say that? If you think it's a knight on, uh, on a white horse, it could be a farmer on a black horse. So <clears throat> don't have any expectations. It will be more fun and the right person, the divine will send you the right person. And I am, here we go. But be careful with fire because you're air and you can make the fire bigger because oxygen will um, make the fire explode and grow. Okay. So let them know what your boundaries are and you must know your boundaries as well. Otherwise you cannot tell the other people what your boundaries are. Black angel feather. The answer is a definite no. The angels have heard your question and the answer is definitely no. Um, will this passion uh, be true? Uh, will it break or this passion? Will it be passion? No, it will be love. Okay, great stuff. So there is a new positive love coming into your life. This doesn't have to be a person, like I said, but if that is what you are looking for, for love, then it, it will be. But it could also be something that you love, okay? That you love or and that you are passionate about because you have the couple of ones, the king and queen. So I think um, there will be a partnership. Yeah, either in something that you love and passionate about or like in work but also in passion to um, a real relationship an extensive relationship okay um, like I said thank you very much for watching this video and remember together we stand strong please share this video with family and friends and let me know what you think of the decks. There are all the decks that are reviews on the Metatron deck, reviews on the Angel Feather deck and the Enchanted Dream Tarot and the House of Horror Oracle deck. I love you all my gems. Take care and be blessed. Have a super week and I hope to see you in the live and otherwise in the next video.